Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my weekly vlogs. I am so excited because I've woken up bright and early as I'm heading off to my hair appointment. I think we all understand the excitement about getting our hair done now that the hairdressers are back open. Honestly, it was like, I honestly felt like I couldn't sleep last night. I kept waking up like every hour because I think I was scared I was going to miss my alarm. God, if I'd missed my appointment, I would have been so gutted. So yes, I'm going to go and have it all cut. Now that obviously during lockdown, my um, shorter layers at the back here, so like these, they used to be up here. So they've grown so much during lockdown. Like I'm so, so pleased. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just get it all cut off to basically sort of meet the length of like the whole of my hair um, and then just kind of grow it from there and start afresh. I feel like then it will sort of work a bit better with the bits around the front of my hair which are still growing. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna go back blonde again. I'm gonna get the blonde bits put back in the front of my hair which have grown all the way down here. It is mental actually when you don't have your hair cut, you're not going to the hairdressers. You actually do realize that hair does actually grow like quite a lot and quite quickly. Um, Cause in three months, I mean, my hair's actually gotten so long cause I had that cut to like here um, in February. So I'm actually really impressed with how much it has grown. I'm going to Daniel Galvin. So I go to Daniel Galvin, which is on George Street. I'm gonna go see Steph and Ellie. So Steph does my haircuts and Ellie does my hair color. Ellie is amazing, especially for blondes. She's so good at blonde colors. I mean, she's amazing at all hair colors, but blonde, she's unbelievable at. She just nails it. You know when you're like, I want a creamy blonde or I want a baby blonde or she just gets it. So yeah, so I'm so excited. And then Steph, is basically the reason that my hair has gotten to a better place because I've said this in one of my other like videos but having a good hairdresser is so important if you are on a hair journey and you want to get your hair to a better place you need to make sure you've got someone who's really going to look after it so I think she'll also agree that it'd be a good idea to sort of cut it back I'm gonna start fresh but yeah I'm so excited I'm literally so excited this is what I'm wearing today guys I've got my SLA super soft long sleeve bodysuit on these are going to be back in stock very soon and then I've got these jeans from ASOS. These are actually reclaimed vintage. I love these jeans because they're so long. They fit so well as well. And then I've just got on my big YSL bag over the top. I love this one. It feels weird using a handbag. I feel like I haven't used a handbag in so long. So guys, I made it to the salon. Here is Ellie looking like something from Star Wars. <laughs> um, so we are going blonder, as I said earlier, and we're also going to bring the color up a little bit more just so I lose a little bit of my brunette. But Ellie loves my natural color, don't you? Love it. So we're going to keep that on the top, keep the roots, and at least it will help, will help with the regrowth. So I've got them all in. I basically get, so I get, apparently I asked Ellie because I checked with her, so I've got a full head of balayage, I think. So like balayage highlights, and then I get baby lights around the front to get that sort of like real light and to frame my face Ellie and I were discussing saying I definitely think it's a good idea to just chop it all back to the length of the layers and try and get it to look as thick as possible um, but yeah okay so I'm having my hair cut with Steph this is Steph looking fabulous and um, Ellie's gonna show you what my top layer looked like no short layers oh my god it's so long I don't know how to be without short layers like I just so I just can't believe I have hair that's all one length and it's blonde, yay. Oh my god, I actually cannot believe. Look in the mirror, guys, that Steph's holding. Amazing. That is my hair. Oh my god, it's dreamy. Look at it. Oh my god, I feel like I've got like a, I was saying to the girls, I feel like I've got like a wig on or something because it feels so thick. <gasps> Look at that, that's my own hair. Oh my god. I feel very proud of my head that it's grown this. So dreamy. <laughs> So I'm back home now. I actually walked back from Oxford Street back home. It's like an hour and a bit. That is what I feel like has changed the most about me in lockdown. Because we're so used to doing daily walks, it makes me want to be like way more energetic. So I literally left the salon and I was like, I could get a taxi, but I'm just gonna walk. But I'm just so in love with my hair. I feel like it's the first time I've really genuinely felt really happy with the way my hair looks. So I'm just so excited. Um, and also, you know you love it when you don't have any makeup on. I've literally just got like BB cream on. And I, it's like, you know when you try an outfit on and you don't have any makeup on and you're like, this looks good you know you're gonna love it even more when you've actually like done yourself up and got all glam so the fact that I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I've got no makeup on means I'm just gonna absolutely love it but I thought I would just put in here because obviously I know that I might get some questions about like what my hair care routine is currently and like what I've been doing so I'm just gonna quickly just show you the products that I swear by and the products that I feel like have made the biggest difference to my hair and what I think is really important to be doing if you want to get your hair back to a good place 
Ellie actually took a before shot, so I'm gonna put this in here so you can see the full transformation because the before picture is like, I mean, what a lockdown lid that was. I'm so glad to see the end of that, that's for sure. Okay, so here are three things that I think are super important. So this is the Redkin Anti-Snap range, which has just improved the strength of my hair, stopped breakage, it's just amazing. So I've got the shampoo and conditioner, and then this is, I spoke about this one in my favourites video, this one's basically an anti-snap treatment, so you put that on after you've shampooed, you then put it in for like three to five minutes. So I'll probably use that one about once a week, and then this is one of the most important things, so this is a heat protection. I would never blow dry my hair now without putting a heat protection on first, this one's great because it's really light so it doesn't make your hair greasy um, you know how sometimes you use products and you can like feel it on your hair afterwards this one's so good I really focus it specifically around like the front of my hairline um, and obviously all the broken bits are like on my crown and stuff and it's just stopped all breakage so I think using these kind of products all together you see amazing results then of course Olaplex this is just I mean, it's just amazing. There's not much I can say about this because we all know how good Olaplex is, but honestly, I'm using it as a hair mask about twice a week and my hair just feels so much thicker. It's also, I feel like, helping it to grow because I've never seen it grow so quickly as it was doing during lockdown. And I think that's because I was using this. And then the only other thing that I have been doing is wearing this headscarf to bed. It's actually in the wash right now because I washed it ready for my fresh hair for tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing one of these silky headscarves and it has massively, massively stopped breakage during the night. It also means I wash my hair less, so they're really good for that. And yeah, they're just... I think it's just a good extra preventative sort of measure to take if you are really like serious about stopping breakage and looking after your hair. Um, because as I, I said it in my favourites video when I was talking about the scarf, that because when you sleep with it on you wake up the next day and your hair looks pretty much exactly the same. It means you don't have to style it with heat as much. And obviously like the less heat you can put on your hair the better it's going to be. So really really love those headscarves. I'll link them below. And then the only other thing I would say that's really good that I love. It's a bit broken. I've lost the top of this. But this is a wet brush. But this is the blow dry wet brush. So I do love a brush when I do blow dry my hair. But this one's amazing because it's got holes in it. So when the heat is focused like on the brush. It goes through the brush and it's not just like massively heating up the brush. Does that make, I feel like that does make sense. But so I think that's good as well to think about the sort of tools that you're using to style your hair. And this one, I think since I switched to this and not just a brush with like a back to it, it does help my hair. It does just has just kind of, you know, it's a mixture obviously of all these things and patience. But yeah, these are basically my favorite hair products. So I just wanted to share them with you all. It's a case of taking the time to look after your hair, but also having patience. Um, but it can be done. I'm literally living proof of the fact that your layers can grow. I mean, that's just mental. Honestly, I feel like, not like emotional, that sounds like so dramatic, but like, hair is so important to everyone, male, female, do you know, if you do have an issue with your hair, it's something you think about a lot. And anyone who has suffered from hair issues, you know, it does kind of consume you and you do feel a bit crap about it. So I completely understand how people feel when you are suffering with like any sort of hair issues because, you know, hair is important. And yeah, I feel just really happy that I've managed to get it back to a good place. So I just went downstairs to pick up my deliveries and I've actually got a lot today. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing. First impressions. So first things, I've got a little set that I ordered from Rat and Boa for my holiday, which I'm so excited about. Um, it is this little black floral set. So this is the pattern. How pretty is that? It's like a, it's on like this really nice satin. I got this in a size small and it's got this sort of like wrap around skirt detail, really cute. And then it's got a matching top. So then this is the matching top. It's kind of one of those ones that you can sit like up on your shoulders or like off your shoulders, you know? And then it's got a tie back which is so nice, but yeah, I'm excited to try that one on. I'm thinking, I obviously got it with like my Greek holiday in mind. Whether we make it to Mykonos, who knows? It's all still very up in the air right now, but I'm gonna buy stuff for it anyway because you just never know. This is cute though, I like the pattern. This is also from Rat and Boa. This is amazing, so it's just like unbelievable like red dress. So nice. Look at the color of this, oh my God. The color of that is so dreamy. <gasps> I'm thinking maybe like birthday dress possibly, although I have ordered quite a few different things for birthday options, but this is amazing. Oh my God, the color. So next up, I've just got this little ring that I ordered from, it's actually from ASOS Marketplace, but the brand is Tartuga. 
but it's really cute so it's just this like really thick gold ring but it's adjustable which I really like about rings so you can wear it on any finger because I love wearing sort of rings on oh my god honestly I need to get my nails done can nail salons just please open it's so annoying so it's adjustable so you can wear it on any finger but I really like the pattern that was on this one just like a little handy gold ring so this is a little package from oh so this is from a brand called Broke but bougie. So it's actually where this phone case is from that I've gotten like most of my Instagram pictures. So this, she sent me a little something to say congrats on 100k for SLA because SLA hit 100,000 followers the other day which is very exciting. Um, but I'll link this brand below for you guys. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my god, I just got like an SLA branded case. That is amazing. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to put that on my phone case. Oh my god, they're all SLA. <gasps> this is so exciting. Look, I've got this one. And I've also got a black one. Oh my god, this is too kind. <gasps> oh my god. I'm actually so touched. That is amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look, I've got my branded phone cases. This is amazing. I'm gonna have to put them on. <gasps> oh, I'm excited about this one. So this was an order that I made on ASOS Marketplace. A bit like the other ones I showed also. Does anyone else just absolutely love it when people send sweets? So this is a brand called wearecozynation.co.uk. Actually, they're a boutique on ASOS Marketplace as well, as I said. But I got some really cool t-shirts from them. So the first one I got is just this oversized white t-shirt that says happy days on the front and then it's also got the same same print but just in really big on the back. How cool is that? I absolutely love it. Really cool and I got this one in an extra large I'm pretty sure. Yeah, extra large. Just I love t-shirts like this. So cool. And then I also got this crazy like long sleeve neon one but I absolutely love. It says came through tripping and then it's got came through tripping on the back as well. How oh, cool. Print's really funky as well. So this one was also... Oh no, this one was in a large. I just love neon. I think it's such a fun thing to wear. This was sort of just like cycling shorts or grey joggers will just look really cool. And what's in this box? Oh my god, I'm excited about this one. So this is what I ordered to wear on my birthday. This was like originally what I was going to wear. Um, but then I saw that red dress on Rat and Boa and I was like, oh, that one is amazing as well. But this was my first choice. So this is from For Love and Lemons, one of my favourite brands ever. I just, I'm not like a super girly dresser as you guys know, but For Love and Lemons, I just, I'm absolutely obsessed with their stuff. So it's this two piece set, look at the print on this, oh, dreamy, so nice. I'm just hoping that everything fits because I wasn't too sure what size I was going to be. So I got a small in the skirt. Oh my god, how amazing is that print? <gasps> so it's like a midi length skirt and then it comes with a little bra top which I actually got in a small and a medium so I need to send one of these back once I've decided what size fits me. Um, but yeah, it's got this little like strappy bra top that goes with it which I just think, and it's actually, which I didn't realise which is amazing, so actually a small might be fine is they're elasticated which is great news what size is this one although this one that i'm holding here is a medium and i actually think that's going to be a better size for my boobs i think the small is going to be too small this one looks like it's going to be a good size oh, so pretty okay what is in this box oh i've got a package of fun stuff from bondi sands in here so i basically just got a big selection of their spf range which is great because it now means i don't have to buy any for when i go away so i've got their face spf 50 lip balm spf 50 oh throwing everything all over myself um spf 30 what's this one an spf 50 again oh an after sun this is the one thing i always forget to take away with me is an after sun so that's gonna come in handy and then this one which is actually my favorite um, one that I used this all last summer and I got such a good tan. So this is the tanning oil, but it's got SPF 15 in it. Um, and I was honestly so brown last summer. It makes me sad to think how I've lost that tan. It's actually very depressing, but it's fine. I'm gonna, gonna try and get it back. It's gonna happen. I have faith. I'm gonna be brown again. Wouldn't it just be so amazing to live in a hot country and you just have a tan? all year round i can't even imagine what that would be like living in england you know you like i follow a lot of aussie influences and things like that and they're just brown all the time and i just think oh my god i'm so jealous it would just be a dream so this is from look fantastic this is the look fantastic beauty box let's see what's inside this one i actually really like these sort of box um subscription things it's such a great way to try out new beauty products 
um, without sort of spending loads of money on something and then thinking, oh, I don't actually like it. So in this one, you've got a multitask eye serum mask. Exfoliating mask. We've got some soap. What's this? This looks like fun. This is a charcoal sponge. I actually love these charcoal sponges. I used to use them all the time and then I just stopped, but they're really, really good. Um, and then we've got a lip gloss from Sleek Makeup. Multi-correction gel cream and a vitamin C repair serum. This sounds like it'd be an absolute bit of me. I do love anything with vitamin C in, as you guys know. But yeah, as I say, they're just like a really good way to try new beauty products without spending so much money and then wasting it if you don't like it because i mean we've all been there you know when you go and buy like a full-size product of something that you've seen online and then you actually end up not really liking it and then it just goes to waste that's always the worst uh right what's in this one so this is a little package from white fox i think i know what's in here i feel like this might be their swimwear which is very exciting oh yeah here we go what have we got i've got a mince picking oh i've got this little dress this is cute it's got butterflies all over it. It's like, oh, it's boned as well. It's got like proper underwire cups, which is very cute. So it's a little butterfly print mini dress. And then I've got a mint bikini. That's such a nice color. And then I've got a black bikini in here. Oh, this top was really cute actually. I saw this on the website. It's like one of those ones that's got like, shows a little bit of side boob. It's got like a back strap. Sorry, this is like the worst way to show a bikini ever. But they will be featuring probably on my Instagram. So hopefully you'll be able to see a picture of them on, on there. Okay, these things are semi-boring. But they are needed because I've got another SLA photo shoot tomorrow. So we've got the main sort of campaign shoot tomorrow. Which I'm really excited about. Um, and I've just ordered some plain white socks. These are just like little white sports socks and pretty little thing for the models to wear. Um, and then also, because I actually had a lot of people asking about the trainers that I put the models in. And I got some extra pairs because the models tomorrow have got different shoe sizes from the models last week. But I actually buy these trainers from Topshop. They are so nice. They're the ones that were featured in one of my styling hauls that I said they look a bit like New Balance trainers. I absolutely love them. I will link these ones below for you guys. They're always on sale as well. Um, so I just buy these for the models to wear because obviously they're not like branded so they're just a good sort of styling shoe but these are the ones that the models will be wearing if you're wondering what is in the ASOS box let's see I can't even remember what I've ordered I'm so bad at picking up my deliveries that's why whenever I do it there's always so many to pick up and my concierge hate me like actually hate me it's just becoming like a running joke I swear to god they'll be so pleased when I move out because they won't have to deal with me getting 50,000 deliveries but I feel like I'm judged honestly like every time I go down there because like this sense of like oh you've got more deliveries I think they think I buy them all like I genuinely think that they think all of this is like me shopping online which is a bit embarrassing so I don't want them to think I mean I am a shopaholic but no one needs to know that, you know? So I got these sunglasses from ASOS again with sort of holiday in mind. But they remind me of the Gucci ones. How funky. Oh my god, I love these. Let me take the tag off. Okay, there we go. That's better. But yeah, they really remind me of the Gucci sunglasses. They're like exactly the same shape. And I love how colourful they are. And I really like sunglasses like this when I'm wearing bikinis. Like more of like a... Like I probably wouldn't wear these kind of ones in England. But I just think if you're just wearing a bikini and you're in sort of like a beach club. These are great. They're very Ibiza as well. Then also from ASOS, I actually just got one of these sort of like clippy things mainly because i did know that i was going to get my hair cut shorter um when i went back to the hairdressers and i just feel like these kind of ones are just so easy to just go like this and then twist your hair around and just like clip it up you know okay that's my slightly quick botched job of this but this is cute this is what i mean just like a little easy way to put your hair up especially when it's shorter but i just really like the gold clip i thought it looked really cute then i finally got round to buying myself some black masks because obviously for travel and stuff, we're going to need them in the airport. And I'm so over wearing those medical ones. So these ones, looking amazing. These ones are from ASOS. So I will link this ones below in case you guys are also looking for a mask. Um, also, new Adidas cycling shorts. How dreamy are these? So these are from ASOS. I love them. The stripes down the side and then they're all very cool. Um, and then I just got a pair of ASOS jeans. Which are really long blue denim jeans but i'll link these ones below for you guys got these in a waist 28 length 32 but they're just a great denim color then this was really heavy i have no idea what is in this oh my god i'm very excited about this okay this is the nars bronzing collection how amazing is that oh my god it's so heavy 
their boxes are just insane. This is like too nice to, not, like you just don't want to throw any of this stuff away. But like that's why there's always so much clutter in my house because I don't, I never want to throw away any of the PR boxes because they're just so nice. So we've got, this is the bronzing powder. It's called Paradise Found. I think that must be the color of it. Oh my God, that's a bronzer. How dreamy is the colors in that? That looks like such a nice brown shade as well. And then obviously with the gold at the top. But I just love that color of the packaging. So nice. Bronzing powder. Oh, this is one of their Laguna bronzing powders. That looks like a really nice one as well, actually. It looks like it's quite buildable because it's not too dark. Then we've got another one. So this is a Laguna matte. So I think that's the same same shade, but a matte version of it, which would be an absolute bit of me because I do love anything anything matte. Then we've got a Laguna lip gloss, I'm assuming this is, which looks so nice. Sort of like a retro brownie glossy shade, which is so pretty. How pretty is that silver one? That's amazing. The pigment is actually unbelievable. So this one is Shockham. That's so nice, like so shiny. And then the other one is called Castaway. So it's got a slightly golder, sort of more of like an iridescent color to that one. So this one at the bottom is Castaway and this one is Shockham, but they are so pretty. And then lastly, I've got this very heavy box. So in here, what is this? So this is L'Oreal Quench Your Thirst with Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream. This looks amazing. So it says, Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream achieves next level luminosity by drenching the skin with 24 hours worth of hydration. Hello. There is a bottle of Whispering Angel. Oh my God. It's like this was actually, this was like this was made for me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we have a bottle of Whispering Angel. We're just really off to a great start here. There's also this amazing beach bag. How nice is that beach bag? Oh my God, I love this. I wonder if it says where it's from. And then, oh my God, this amazing blanket from John Lewis. Oh my God, this is so soft. This is so nice. I wish you guys could feel how soft this rug is. It doesn't say where this basket is from though. So these are the Skin Paradise Tinted Water Creams. What colors have I got here? Medium one and medium two. Let's see what medium two looks like. Too dark, I don't know. They haven't got any, I mean, I've got a moisturizer kind of thing on my face already, but it feels nice though when you put it on. It's got a good color to it, considering it's just like a tinted, like water cream thing. I just love things like this for holiday though, so I'm just, I hate wearing foundation when I'm away. It drives me insane, like it really annoys me. So I just hate the feeling of being like sweaty and not being able to rub my face. So um, yeah, I'm much more of a BB cream or like tinted moisturizer kind of person when I go away, it's just much better. Oh no, this is not ideal. Oh my God, guys, look, cookies. That, oh my God, they look unbelievable. Where are they from? Cream London. Cookie dough with dark chocolate and banana cookie dough and dark chocolate. That sounds like an absolute bit of me. Their Instagram handle is literally cream, but it's spelled C-R-E-M-E dot London, if you guys are interested, but they look unbelievable, like insane. Okay, so that is everything I have to show you guys in my giant unboxing. I now have a floor covered in rubbish that I need to sort out because, oh, look, actually, I feel like you can see that skin things made like a difference. This, I don't know, the side of my face looks a lot more sort of like dewy than this side, if you can tell. Um, yeah, look, this is what I'm now dealing with. The aftermath of my delivery opening always always the way, just now having to tidy all this up. This is what I'm wearing today, guys. Can you believe it? I'm wearing a leather jacket, jeans, and boots in the middle of July. What has the world come to? Also got the white bodysuit underneath, which is the same one I had on yesterday. Pretty much wearing kind of the same outfit, but don't judge. I'm just obsessed with these jeans. I feel like I'm just gonna live in them now. Um, and this is, of course, my favorite misguided leather jacket, the best jacket I've ever owned. So yes, off we go. So we've arrived at the shoot. Look at this beauty over here getting her makeup done. We've got uh, Glam Squad on point as always. Um, the house is unbelievable. Look at this space, there's just so much room. Um, this lounge room is unbelievable. I want one of these sofas. How amazing is this? And then we've got Lilia in the pink set in the back here. Becky Spencer Photography doing her thing. This is very exciting. Oh yeah, lovely. We also have these two little puppies on today's shoot. Look how cute they are. They obviously are owned by the people who own this house, but I'm so tempted to use them as props. <laughs> Do you want to be a model? 
Oh, look at you. Your poor friend's having to sleep with the wire in the bed. Sorry. Sorry. That's not very fun, is it? No. We've managed to steal the jog, which we're all very happy about. <laughs> the ultimate oh Instagram God. prop. Look, oh, I wish we knew its name. I know. That's <laughs> we're, just calling it dog. we're just calling it dog currently. He really is, or she is. I'm just doing a little behind the scenes of uh, this. This little sort of glam moment. We're, we're basically Serena's hype team over here. <laughs> Unbelievable face. Yes, girl. So insane. <laughs> That's my favorite. We've got a nice little squad lunch going on here. We've all got noodles, which I'm very excited about. We're so healthy. We are so healthy. It's so yummy. Unbelievable. It's like a mer mermaid. It's amazing. Actual, like, mermaid. And she pulls do you know what? I feel like there should be a job where people just do this, just stand around yeah. people and hype them up. Yeah. It's needed. <laughs> So the shoot went so well, like unbelievably well. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. It was just exactly the vibes that I envisioned and it was just, everyone, you know, it's just like really good vibes. Both of the models, Serena and Lilia, were like unbelievable. I mean, just absolute goals. And the house was amazing. Becky was insane as always. Mikey was just great for makeup. Sarah was amazing for hair. It was just a great team. Literally, I feel like on cloud nine right now because it just, it just went so well. And it's just, oh, it's an Instagram dream, that house. Honestly, I was like, I want to move in here. So I'm excited to post all the images on the SLA Instagram so you guys can see because they're just... Ah, I'm so excited. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm back home now, and that is literally what I'm going to spend my evening doing editing the pictures because I'm going to have great fun editing them because they're just, they are the definition of vibes. So I'm just going to end the vlog here, guys, and just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching. I actually have just spent the morning filming a video on how I style my short hair and sort of my favourite go-to hairstyles for that. So that should hopefully be up next week. But as always, anything I've spoken about in this video, I will, of course, link below for you guys. My next video is actually going to be packing for holiday um, because it's getting very soon before I'm actually heading off and it looks like... All is going to plan, all is okay, which is great news. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.